Melbourne's match-up with New Zealand pitted two teams at extreme ends of football's colourful spectrum. The victory were one win away from securing the title of Premiers, while the Knights were in the midst of yet another murky chapter in their inglorious history. With the FFA revoking the club's licence mid-week, Soccer New Zealand was charged with running the embattled club, and it fell to former all-white Ricky Herbert to guide the Knights for the remainder of the season. Skipper Kevin Muscat was aiming to steer his side to their 13th win of the season and a place in Australian football history. He joined the returning Grant Brebner in central midfield with Adrian Caceres replacing Alessandro on the left. Daniel Alsop and Archie Thompson would be out to exploit a makeshift Knights defence. After a wholesale player clear-out, Noah Hickey was handed the captain's armband. He was the only familiar face in a defensive line that featured three players making their season debut. Last round's goalscorer against Adelaide, Lele Gao, started on the left side of a three-man attack. Commentary at Olympic Park from Simon Hill and Robbie Slater. The crowd are kicking themselves at the Saints. The uh, North Stand and the South Stands shouting at each other. Here's Caceres, maybe to liven it up. Also trying to tee it up for Kevin Musket, but Johnson was in there. The uh, free kick was given for the foul on Pantelides. New Zealand not happy. Angelo Nardi, adamant. That's just the follow through that. Now free kick's been taken quickly and Danny Olsop has put the ball in the back of the net. It's a perfect 10 for Dan the man and Melbourne are in front. Well they took that quick. New Zealand went to sleep, they've been so disciplined, so well organised. But here it's the quick free kick. The ball in, Danny Olsop gets free, it's a simple finish. New Zealand not happy but they fell asleep. And Olsop gets number 10 for the season. He doesn't miss from there. Here's Caceres, running at the defence. Caceres! Oh, yes! Adrian Caceres! Fabulous strike. It's a sumptuous finish from the boy from Buenos Aires. Nice, wonderful play. He's allowed to turn, and that's the key. You shouldn't have let him turn there. Need to be tied on him. And once he's turned... Here he is, he pulls into that space. Fleming should have been tied on him. Once he turned, he stood him up. Passion will be disappointed to be beaten at the near post. The credit to the strike. Beautiful placement, a lot of power. And all of a sudden, they find themselves two down. Well, they go. Runs into a bit of a cul-de-sac and forgets to take the ball. This is Archie Thompson. Good run by Orsa. Nobody picked him up. More danger here for New Zealand. Danny Olsop running at them. Olsop! Oh, oh, oh. Exquisite finish. Well, it's Paul Markey. Here he drives and wells. Stands him up. He knows he can beat him with speed. Pasty gets beaten on the near post again. But to be fair to him, with some venom in the strike. Pace and power and buries it. Free kick, they've coughed up. In a dangerous position. Kevin Musket, Brebner will fancy this. Fred, possibly. Mark Taston. He's got to get the ball right because he's got limited movements. Oh, it's a cheeky one. Thompson! Four goals in ten minutes. It's an avalanche in Olympic Park. Well, it's a free kick again. It's just a slip. No concentration. It's a lovely ball from Kevin Musket. Nancy Thompson arrives to it, and the key is he gets to it on the half volley. And once he keeps it down, he scores. Well, it's a cool, cool game for Paul, isn't it? I think at times tonight the side was was relatively you know sort of competitive with them, and uh, you know, I'll take away a few signs. I mean I haven't sort of been involved actively in the league, and um, yeah, it's a little bit to think about over the next few weeks, and uh, just see what direction it takes. Um, who knows about a franchise in New Zealand next year? I mean that's got to be an outcome for us, hopefully. Oh, it's a great Christmas present for our for our club and for our for our fantastic supporters. Two presents, uh, the Asian Champions League qualification and the uh, Premiership. It's just a great feeling at the moment. I, I know it's going to come out later. I'm going to get really excited. <laughs>